as a first simple example of the result that we just derived, let's consider a bar of length L with constant cross-sectional area and constant Young's modulus that is subjected to a force P applied on the end of the bar, and the other end of the bar is fixed. And let's try and compute what the change in length of the bar is. Well, the thing that we're going to need in applying our relationship is an expression for the internal force, and we will use equilibrium for that. So the first thing to do is to make a section cut in the bar and examine the system here. So if I put the internal force in at the section cut, it's R of X. I've drawn it in the positive outward direction. And on the opposite side of this little free body diagram, I have the applied force P. So by equilibrium, some of the forces in the X direction, I find that R of X is equal to P. And it didn't matter where I made the section cut. I could have made it up here. I could have made it over here. I would always have the same picture. So I have R of X equals P no matter where I am in the bar, so for all values of X. So if I stick that back into my equation and note that which terms are constants, I can pull the P and the 1 over AE out from underneath the integral sign, and I have the integral of 1 from 0 to L. So my final result then is that the change in length of the bar is PL over AE. So this is a, a very well-known result in, in engineering mechanics. Uh, one quick remark is that the ratio of the applied force to the change in length is known as the stiffness. You, we usually use the symbol K. And so we have from our result here we can show that the stiffness of the bar is AE over L. Uh, there is one related concept which is known as flexibility. That's 1 over the stiffness, so the change in length divided by the force, and that's just L over AE.